Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we'll be going over how to complete the side quest Hand to Hand in Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Let's get started. This is a long quest, very similar to the trading quest in Link's Awakening. In Quo Quolux Hollow, here on the map, you will find an NPC, speak to him and he will give you a map and the quest Hand to Hand. This is where it starts. From there, head to Wellspring Glades and you will be speaking with Tok there. He will then give you the Wanderer's Pouch, which will then start the next part of the quest. You're going all over the world in this, so don't expect to beat it right away. Just expect to beat it by the end. Next, head to the Wellspring, and here there's a bunch of buildings you can go into. Not a bunch, there's like four. But this building right here, this library, this windmill, whatever you want to call it, go inside. And on the right side of the building, there is one of the uh, Tokis or Lokis or whatever they're called. Mokis. Speak to him, he will want the bag, and in return, he will give you a pack of herbs. Next, you want to go back to the Wellspring Glades. You probably can't do this one yet, but you need to go to the top of the tree, which actually requires the leaf so you can get the fire going, so you probably can't do it until you get the leaf. And you jump to this branch here. Most likely need the triple jump as well. Jump up here, and then follow this path to the end, and there's a little cauldron there. Talk to the guy at the cauldron, and he will hand you some spicy soup. Uh, so again, you will need the... I don't know if you need the triple jump, but it makes it a lot easier. But you will need the feather so you can make the fire go at the bottom of the tree in the Wellspring, Wellspring Glades. Next is in Bower's Reach. Here on the map, this is... A, again, you're going to need you're gonna need the feather because you got to float. When you're up there, talk to this guy, and if you have the soup, he will give you the comfy hat. You probably know where the hat goes if he's spoken to everyone. But you need to go back to the Wellspring Glade to turn that in. And here is where he will be on the map. On the left side of the Wellspring Glades inside the little cave here. Talk to this dude at the end. He will take the hat from you and in turn, he gives you a lamp. You turn the lamp in and the Moldwood Depths here on the map. Highly recommend you clear this place out. That way you don't have to worry about the darkness. If not, you will need the move, the flash move that allows you to move through the darkness. And the jump is right through there. It's kind of a hidden wall. Talk to the Moki here. And he will take the lamp off your hands. And then he will hand you uh, some silk, which you will then turn to the guy who needs the fishing line. To find him, you go to the Luma Pools. Uh, all you really need for this one is the dash. But if you've got everything else, you've got all the upgrades you need to get to this guy. There's the warp point down there, by the way. From here, grapple up, dash over. Talk to him right here, and he will hand you some water, a canteen, or no, spyglass. He's the spyglass, my bad. And again, back to Wellspring Glades. There's the warp point. This time we're heading up here to the guy that hides behind the bush. Talk to him, and I believe he's the one who gives you the canteen. When you got the canteen, head to the windswept wastes, and uh, you can kind of see where I came in. Here's where I warped at. Follow this path up, using your dashes and your grapples. Talk to the Gorlek Miner here. He will take the canteen off your hands and he will hand you a stone tablet. Once again, back to the Wellspring Glades. This time we are heading to, uh, there's the warp. You can either go under the water or use the dirt, your choice. Head inside the hut and talk to Lupo here. He will tell you that you need to go use that in the ancient ruins, which is one of the end areas. You need to get all of the, uh, the four main items in order to get into that place. So if you haven't done that yet, keep progressing in the story until you have. If you have, the Windtorn Ruins are right here. There's a warp point right there. Warp to it and just head down. Warp all, or not warp, dash all the way, jump all the way, run all the way. And the great part about this, although it is a little bit late, uh, you get all the secrets revealed on your map once you turn this tablet in. Let the quest complete, give it a couple of seconds, and then the uh, button prompt right there, place the map stone fragment, kaboom, all secrets have been marked on your map. Now, like I said, you're probably almost done with the game at this point, but hey, now you'll know where everything's at if you want to collect it all. All right, and you get that achievement. All right, that'll do it for me. If you liked what you saw and got what you needed, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Later, Gators.